Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Orville, California for the Gold Rush Car Show. This nice little Northern California town situated in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas is a great place for a car show. And while the get rich quick days of the gold rush are long gone, there's plenty of automotive gold to be mined here. So I say, let's get prospecting. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Just great. Nice show you got. Um, I think this is one of our best shows ever. It's a nice setting for a show, too. I mean, this is a nice town, Orville, and you're right at the, what, the base of the Sierra Nevadas, That's basically. That's absolutely correct. And this goes back to Gold Rush days, right? It does, it does. Now, how long has the car show been going? We've been doing the car show for about a total of 15 years. Wow. Well, you know, the, I like the downtown setting. I always like that. And you got a cool town. you got all these murals around, kind of period, you know, uh, celebrating the days of the Gold Rush. Absolutely. We're, we're very art-minded, uh, and we try to bring everyone to get them involved in our in our downtown yeah. area. Well, it's a very family-oriented show. I mean, it's kids everywhere, and you know, entire families, young and old. It's it's, it's really kind of neat. This is um, our pride and joy, actually. Yeah. Well, how many cars do you think you you, you pulled this year? Well, we registered 947. Whoa, really? Yes, <laughs> yes. And last year we had almost 900. So you know, every year. That's a lot of cars. That's a lot of cars. Because I know you got them stashed all over the place. Yes. Yes, we do. The registration fee is very low, and uh, it meets the needs yeah, of a like, lot of like people. A, it's a $10 show, right? It's a $10 show. How can you go wrong? And we don't charge the spectators for coming in and looking yeah. at the vehicles. Oh, it's, it's really nice, and there's some cool stuff. Now, is there still any gold in them in our hills? Absolutely. Maybe on the streets we walk in. Let's go find some, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Well, Joey, you know, I, I stopped by the cruising last night, and, and you came up to me and said, Hey, Dennis Cage, I can't believe it, Joey. And he uh, said, Hey, I got a 54 you might like. And, and I was like, Yeah, 54 I might like. Yeah, right. And then I saw you driving this thing. I went, Oh, I like that 54. <laughs> you were right. Thank you. <laughs> so what all's been done here? Well, first of all, we uh, turned it in from a four-door to a two-door. Yeah. Chopped it three and a half inches. We peaked the hood, fringed the headlights and the taillights, bagged it, tubbed it, Shaved every emblem and door handle off of it. It's crazy, you know, and, and your your grill is Chevy, but she's got four extra teeth. That's there. what it is. Gives okay. a little more bite. And the bumper is the bumper's flipped upside down, so is the back one. Gives a little lower look. Uh huh. It rocks. It, it goes really <laughs> nice. And the color is is really cool too. It's a tangerine or something. What is it? It's on a base of a tangerine. It's actually called citric acid. It's a <laughs> custom color that we blended ourselves. It's just uh, really nice. Yeah, it's one of a kind paint job. And that almost looks like the stock Chevy white though. The... That's a Murano Pearl. Oh yeah. And you know, I like your interior. You got a little bit of a, I don't know, an iridescence going on in here too. Yeah, we have pearl uh, interior, two different textures. I picked out the fabrics. You, you left a funky dash instrument arrangement that mm -hmm. these things had. That's so weird. It's so asymmetric. It really is. But it looks kind of cool. We blended it into the dashboard and then put all the, the dolphin gauges in it. Ah, oh, man, I like that. And it, I, I like your shifter, too. It's that, that shock top, isn't it? Shock top beard. <laughs> I had to empty the keg at Applebee's to get that shift handle. <laughs> you know, it was worth it, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it was hard work, but I did it. <laughs> somebody's somebody's got to do it. Yes, sir. It, it looks really nice. You know, I guess I'm, I'm almost surprised, now, and, I and I like the wide whites, and I guess those are uh, caddy? 57 caddy, 57 yep. caddies. I'm almost surprised you don't have it skirted. Uh, we were going to put skirts on it, and the builder thought that this car, the way it sat, would look better without them. And so you know, I, actually, the I, I actually agree with him. You I, know, I do too. It's all I mean, about curb appeal. I it's think. all about curb appeal. Yep, isn't it? Yep, <laughs> yep, it is. What's under the hood? We have a high performance 350 with uh, Edelbrock, four barrel, and a, a Sanderson block hugger headers. Wow. Yep. Is that the flow? How's it look? Yep. Still needs a little work. Still needs a little work. So that's that's yeah. like for next time, right? That's the next project. Man, well, I, you know, I think it'll be worth the wait. This is a gorgeous car, and you, you know, sir. it really is a 54 that I like. Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Joey. <laughs> Steve, this is a really strong looking 69 Barracuda. It really caught my eye earlier. You've had this for a while? Yes, about seven years. And this is no stock Barracuda here? 
Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> and you made it full race, but it's but it's licensed. Is it streetable? It is street legal. <laughs> and 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 you took off with this vision in mind? Yes, I did. So you're gonna you're gonna race this baby from the beginning. I was going to race it and make it a street legal car as well. Which is kind of a tricky thing to do. Absolutely. I yeah. Mean, making it street legal adds weight to it. Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to be competitive, you know, it's uh, but it I tell you, I heard it too before. It sounds strong. It is. It is strong, yeah. It is. What's the story behind it? Always been a Mopar guy. Uh, loved the 68 Barracudas. Happened upon a 69 and I just had to have it. And you've got a bit of pearl or something in it. I mean, it's white, but there's there's kind of... Just a little bit of a custom pearl thrown in there, yeah. It's very subtle. But yeah. It, but it really, you know, it highlights the car really, really nicely. Yeah, nice when the sun's shining bright, you can see it. You don't see many race cars with a vinyl top on them either. Uh, that, and that was, a, that was a factory option in, in 69, 69 right? yes it was. They called that the slick back option. I mean, it is pretty slick, and you've uh, you know you've done a lot on the outside, but you've done a lot on the inside too. This your your interior is uh, is all race, but you've kept your your door panels. They look stock. Yeah, they are stock. It's got aluminum dash and it has aftermarket gauges, of course, but they're in the stock layout. Very serious roll cage, and it looks powder coated. Or is that just a really good paint job? It's a nice powder coat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice powder coat. You really do have an interesting combination of street and strip. Yes. So what kind of times can you run with this baby? 1050s. So that's, that's why you've got that serious roll cage in there. Yes. <laughs> yes. In fact, you have to have it in there for those kind of times, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Love the, the tail end of these cars too. The face is gorgeous, and I love that wraparound reflector. And there's that's a very complex lens too. Are those are those the originals? Did you? Those are the original lenses. Wow, yes. They're in great shape. Yeah. Now I saw on your on your hood scope 440 wedge, which I bet barely resembles a stock 440. You are correct. <laughs> let's yeah. let's go have a look at it. Absolutely. Wow, so what all's been done to the engine here? Uh, the engine's been stroked to 500 cubic inches. It puts out approximately 575 uh, horsepower. And I heard you fire it up. I mean, it sounds pretty darn strong, too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty healthy. Well, I'm telling you, you got a great one here, man. Well, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Run fast, run safe. 69 CUDA, 440 wedge. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Bob, you're actually staying at the same hotel I am. I, you probably don't know that, but I do, because I saw you tool in in this yesterday, and I thought, what in the world is that thing? And, and so I ask you again, <laughs> what in the world is that thing? It's a forward control Jeep 170. Forward control is the model name? Yeah. Forward control, does that mean this kind of, you know, you're out here in front you're of the engine? The, you're over the front wheels, yeah. So it's kind of a, their version of a cab over almost? Yeah. In, in designation? Mm -hmm. What year? 60. It's wild. Part of it is just how doggone tall it is. Yeah. I mean, I mean that thing's that thing's like seven and a half feet tall or so. It's a little under seven feet because it just makes it in the front garage. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 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 so crazy, and you know I, I love you know I love the uh, the non-interior. I mean, dash-wise, you got one gauge. <laughs> you got one gauge, and you got headlights and wipers. That's it. <laughs> but you have you have a heater in this. That was an option, according to the brochure. No kidding, wow. Yeah. But you have three levers there, the, obviously a transmission and then your four-wheel drive. What's and the, the third, third is a overdrive. Was that an option too? No, my brother and I added that. Oh wow, well, you know, these are probably the stock seat frames that you've tricked them up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Tons of headroom. And you know, I kind of like that, that uh, flat steering wheel, you know, like you're driving yeah. a bus. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool looking machine with really quite, quite a long bed. I mean, it's how long is this baby? Nine foot. Man, were the stock wheels this big? Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's big. Well, and you sprayed in a little bit of bed liner, which yeah. you know, not only sets it off but preserves it, mm -hmm. which is nice. And I love these, you know, kind of straight square. Square looking fenders. Yeah. <laughs> now, normally at this point, I'd say, well, let's go up and have a look at that engine. But you really can't see the engine in this, right? Is it's like no. buried and you're sitting on it? And yeah. If you open it up, you see the air cleaner probably. Air cleaner and a recovery tank for the radiator. How exciting. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, man, it's the only one I've ever seen. It's completely insane. It's a 1960 Jeep forward control four wheel drive. Yes. Wild machine, Bob. Thank you. I love it. Dave, this is a really interesting 442. I don't think I've ever seen one configured quite like this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wild. It's a wild color scheme. That's the main thing about it. What is it? Uh, the actual factory color is code 
uh, tea, which is ivory. But I swear, there's a hint of green in that. It is on the color chip, too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're right. <laughs> and then it's got a, an actually a dark green vinyl top, yeah, right? Yeah, a dark forest green vinyl top. They couldn't have sold too many of this, this, this combo, because I have uh, never seen it before. Have you ever run into one like this? No. But she's all been restored, I'm sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Cha -ching. Well, she's beautiful. I mean, you do oh. great work, too. This interior is such an interesting color also. What do, they, what do you call this? The color code of it is code G, and it's called Willow Gold. Which, again, has got a oh, touch of green in it. Yeah, very green. Very, actually, actually, it's more than a touch, <laughs> isn't it? But, you know, she's just, and I, I love the dash and factory 8-track. Factory 8. With Oldsmobile right. on the door. Right on. Man, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> love that. I just think this thing is so cool. One of the things I always thought was interesting, because it's a pretty big car, but man, those are very dainty taillights. And for, for the year of the car, uh, most 68 model GM cars had narrow taillights. Oh, really? And they blew them up in, in 69 and 7. Well, I mean, it looks, it just, it looks dynamite. So, being a 442, mm -hmm. this would have... What engine? From the factory, it had a 400 big block. But you've done something with it? This car had a engine transplant in 1980, which was a 71 Tornado 455 rocket motor. Let's go look at that, baby. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, man, that is like showroom. Actually, the original color of the motor should have been a copper color for the 400 big block. I had the option of, of the red. Red and or blue. It really pops. Yeah. <laughs> I like the red. Yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> Boy, and she's packed in there too. Is right. It, and is it a blast to drive? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of fun in there. A lot of muscle. Lot of strength there, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I love the 68 442 in ivory. Right. That's green, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Cool car. <laughs> Tim, this is an absolutely stunning 62409. I mean, I love these cars to begin with, but man, this color combo, it just, it just got me. It's red and a very special red. Red line red. Red line red. And what's, your, what's the yellow? Because that's kind of an interesting, yeah, very light. it's a great combination. It's, uh, it's a DuPont alabaster uh -huh. is the color. And uh, it was a little scary in, in the beginning, but it's really worked out well. I don't think you could have said this to me and I would have gone, oh, great, you yeah. know? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> but true. It, but it really does look good. And, and I didn't even notice it at first, but there's a really, really subtle green pinstripe there that just right. really right. sets it off. You see so many of these cars, uh, as bubble tops, of course. Right. This is the really, I think, the first year for the fake convertible roof, right? Right. There's very few cars that ever had this type of a uh, design on the roof. And, and interior-wise, you've kept it extremely stock looking in the pattern, but it looks like it's done in leather, isn't it? Right, it's all leather. And you know, the, you kept your dash stock, but you've updated the gauges and carried through your red line red and alabaster color scheme. Right. What sticks out to me is, it, is actually the speedometer, because I guess that's a, a stock font Right. But it's the color, you know, the red and the alabaster, it just makes it pop so much more that it really stands out. It just jumps. It, 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 it really fits well with the car. Well, beautiful. I mean, this tail end is, is also very complex with engine turning throughout there, too. Right. That just flows so Ab well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, absolutely gorgeous. And your badge 409, I bet there's a 409. There's a 409. Let's go in look it. at that baby. All right. Oh man, <laughs> oh, that's <It's>, gorgeous. <laughs> was that the 409's air cleaner? Uh, that... Yes, but what we did was we just took the longer snout and put it another one on the other side. Oh, is that okay? So, yeah. What all has been done to the engine? Uh, well, actually, it's been reworked entirely. It's just an absolutely gorgeous car. It brings back a lot of memories for people, oh, these yeah. 409's. Well, they're time so. machines, man. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And I think it's, I, it's a great car, but I think it's the color combo that sucks people in, man. Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah. She's real fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> 62 thank you. 409. Oh, man. We had a blast at the Gold Rush Car Show here in Orville, California. There are some really fine rides and some very nice people. You got to check this one out. You might even find some gold.